Leon! Yes, Arlene, my dear? Well, you weren't leaving without kissing me goodbye. I did too. No, 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 darling. No, no. Without on my mind, I couldn't rest easy at the office. Rest at the office? Yeah. Why, you've been so busy, you haven't been home for four straight nights. Wait, it's true. I, uh, I thought I explained. Yes, you were out with buyers. That's right, buyers. Buyers, you know, we've got to keep the wheels turning. What <laughs> wheels? Taxi cabs? Yeah, that's right. No, no, I mean... I mean, the wheels of industry. Well, I think you'd better stop them tonight. Oh. I'll have a nice dinner ready. Good. Again. I, yeah. See what you mean. Cut with my coat, darling, will you? Thank you. You got it too high, dear. Light, high. Oh, it's such a dog, dog hair. It's a little long, isn't it? Uh, it's a dog. I mean, the long hair of it. It's a, it's a sheep dog, very like. It, Oh, yeah. I, um. hmm. It's one of mine. Oh. Well, my coat, dear, huh? Well, I'll be right home at 6.30 on the spot. I mean, uh, on the dot. 6.30? Yeah. Oh, Leon. Yes? If you ever do deceive me and go out with a woman, any woman, it will be fatal. Oh, darling, that's absolutely ridiculous. Of course. Bye-bye. Oh. Uh, pardon me, darling. Bye, sweet. Yes, yes, Mother, I know you warned me against him before we were married. Believe him? Why, certainly not. But I don't know just what he is doing. Well, I do. He's got some woman on the string. I told you in the beginning, and has a bad eye and a guilty look. Well, if I get one thread of evidence, I'll file suit the next day. You get a detective and two witnesses. I wouldn't trust him in an old lady's home. Is there a package here for me? Yes. Oh, boy. I'll be pretty. Tell Mr. Stone I'll be down here first thing in the morning. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, Earl. Glad I caught you, though, even if it was a wing shot. Yes. Something important has just come up, and I want you to handle it. Yes, sir. Meant to do it myself, but I'm tied up for dinner. Uh, come in, come in. Yes. I... Oh, come in, yes. Green Brewster and Company's buyer is at the Imperial Hotel. One of our best customers. Gives you a chance for a big order. Yes, sir. I'll handle it first thing in the morning. Errol! Yes, sir. Come back here. You will handle it right tonight. Tonight? Well, here's the buyer's name. Your samples. Yes, sir. Well, I want to see an order and a big one. Well, I thought I maybe I thought... What's the matter with you? Well, I, I'll tell you, sir. It, it's like this. It's like what? Come well, on, get it out. Well, out. That's it, sir. I've been out four nights running, and I promised my wife I'd be yeah, home tonight. Bill, yeah, tell her it's business. I'll take care of it right away. Uh, get my wife on the phone, will you, please? Hello, Mrs. Errol. Leon call. I, I mean, Mr. Errol calling. You are bright, aren't you? <clears throat> Hello, dear. Yes, this is Leon. Yeah. Yes, I was just going out the door and something came up. Oh, yes, I understand. Another buyer, and you'll be home for dinner. Yeah, well, that's true, darling, but uh, I'll buy you something pretty nice, love. Well, uh, well, if you put it over, yes, dear. Would you go right ahead and try? Goodbye, dear. You won't need these now. Thanks. That's all right. Here, leave those alone, will you? All I need now is a mink coat to wrap these in. Stone and Company. Uh, yes, Mrs. Errol. You just missed him. He rushed out of here in a great hurry. Uh, did he happen to tell you where he was going? Uh, the Imperial Hotel, I think. Uh, is he going to meet you there? He most certainly is. Uh, thank you. Come in. Oh, 
I beg your pardon. I, uh, I'm Leonardo of Stone and Company. I'm looking for... Uh... For me, I am Frances Brown of Green Brewster and Company. Oh, uh, you are Miss Frances Brown. Yes. Well, I'm glad to know you. Oh, flowers. I oh. oh, thoughtful. Thank you. Uh, quite all right. <laughs> They're lovely. I'm glad you like them. Our firm's under the impression that you were uh, interested in Oh, them. yes, we are. But there's no hurry. Oh. I was just on my way down to dinner. Have you dined? Well, uh, no. Well, that's fine. We can have something together. I'm starved. And I'm sure we could discuss business much better after eating. Well, I'm sure we could. <laughs> Let me take your coat. Well, thank you. I have an excellent place for these two. Oh, have you? Well, I'm thanks again. Here's the trunk key. Here's the trunk key. May I help you? Thank you. Thank you again. Shall we go? How do you do? No, thank you. I just wanted to find out whether there'd been a Mr. Errol here this evening. This moment, madam. I'll see. Well, I got the impression you didn't mostly go buying in Europe. Well, I used to, but of course, under the circumstances now, you know, it's a little bit difficult. Good excuse me. Well, what's wrong? Yeah, I got a cramp in my right arm. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, <laughs> Sorry, I don't find anyone by that name. Shall I page him for you? No, thank you. I'll just look around for him. Well, what's the matter? It's a uh, little warm, don't you think? Well, I hadn't noticed it. Then you did? I thought, oh, I guess. I'm just all right. <laughs> you know, I straight it go. What's the matter, Mr. Errol? Well, it's, 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 it's just the cramps again. Where? In the lobby. I mean, the, in my other leg. Well, maybe it's arthritis. No, it's Arlene. That must be a new ailment. <laughs> Not to me, it isn't. <laughs> oh. Oh, is the pain worse? <laughs> well, she's closer. Oh. Why, Francis Brown. Imagine finding you here. <laughs> Arlene, after all these years. I'd heard you were married, but didn't know you were living here. We've been here for years. You have? <laughs> oh, pardon me, dear. I want you to meet... The strangest man. But I suppose he'll be back. Do <laughs> sit down, Arlene. Oh, boy. Yes. I want you to deliver a note for me, will you? All right, sir. Hey. Say, who's that fellow picking up the silver there? Oh, he's a detective. Oh. All right, so. Here. Deliver some Miss Brown in the dining room, will you? Yes, thank you. Thanks. I came here expecting to find my husband. I hope you do. I'd like to meet him. So would I. <laughs> Miss Brown? Yes. Oh, the poor man. What's wrong? My escort. He has an ailment with a funny name. I'm afraid I'll have to hurry right up to my room. Come along, Arlene. We'll dine later. <laughs> oh, Francis, I'll follow you in a minute. Room 301. Yes, ma'am? If Mr. Errol should come in, will you please call me in 301? 301? It's Mrs. Errol. All right. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. you poor man. Yes, You're shaky. <laughs> Sit over here, and I'll get you something that'll fix you right up. Yes. Oh, would you see who that is, please? Yes. Oh, dearie. Oh, 
Boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, you have chills. No, only one, but it's enough, believe oh. me. Well, here, take this and lie down, and I'll see who's at the door. Yeah. Well, let's wait. No, no, not there. Not oh, there. but I insist. You're a very sick man. Oh, no, please, I... I there, I, that's I, it. So... Oh. oh, Arlene, come in. Did you find your husband? Not yet, but I will. yourself comfortable and you'll excuse me for a few minutes. I have a very sick man on my hands. Well, that's the strangest man he's gone again. Oh, they're all alike. <laughs> oh, well... Would you please phone upstairs to Miss Brown and tell her well, that there I'm... you are, Arrow. Oh, yes, sir. Well, leaving so soon? You must have closed the deal already. Well, not exactly, sir, but I think I can do better in the morning. Oh, you do, do you? Yes, sir. Yes. Give me that. The only deal with samples like these. I... But... What's this? Where are the diamonds? Oh, the diamonds. I know just exactly where they are, sir. You stay here and I'll be right back. You better be back. Losing $20,000 worth of diamonds. If you don't have them in my hands in five minutes, you'll find yourself in jail. Jail? Jail? Yes, jail. Third floor, please. Yes, oh, someone at the bedroom door. What are you hiding in there for? Hiding? Don't be ridiculous. There's funny business going on around here. There certainly is. First my guest disappears and then I'm kidnapped. Is there anything missing? Oh. Oh, the diamonds. Diamonds? What is it? Oh, the diamonds. They're gone. Gone? Yes. You sure? Yes, I know. They, they were right in this drawer in a case that looked just like this. I'll take it easy and don't worry. I think on the little mug that done it. Can you? Oh, I beg your pardon. Sorry. Daryl, come back here. Oh, Mr. Stone. 
Your five minutes are up. You're fired. Fire! I've already got the jewels right in the basket. There they are. Yes, but still no order. From now on, I don't even know you. Understand? Yes, but I've been trying to... Oh, an accomplice, huh? Trying to get away. How dare you? Say, you can't do that to him. I can't, huh? No. You're under arrest, too. Oh. Come on, the both of you. I say, wait a minute. Go on. Okay. Get in there. In there? In there. Well, I, I don't see... Go on. on. All right, wait. Don't stop. Here are your diamonds, lady. Oh, thank you. What a relief, Mr. Errol. Do you know him? Why, of course. He's my guest, and these are his diamonds. His diamonds? Nonsense. They're my diamonds. Ah, uh, you can tell it to the judge. Wait a minute. Tell them who I am. I don't even know you. Understand? I oh. thought so. That's enough out of you. Oh, see here. Go ahead. Leon. Hey. When did you meet Francis? Hey, were to... Tonight? For the first time? Oh, I can explain everything, Arlene. You see, I'm a diamond buyer for Green Brewster and Company. And I'm going to take a lot of these from your husband. <laughs> Just to prove it to you, I'll give you a check on account. Oh, good. Then you were on business. Strictly business. Oh, I'll never doubt you again, oh, dear. Yeah. Well, here's your check. Oh. Well, with this check, you get Stone out of jail. Stone? Yeah. Was that man Mr. Stone? Oh, yes. Oh, the poor fellow. Oh. What? I wouldn't try to get away if I were you. That's all right. You can let him go. I'm not pressing the charges. Why uh, are you? That, 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 that. Pardon me, Mr. Law. Look at Miss Brown gave me. Miss Brown? Well, you are a businessman after all. Yeah, uh, but strictly business, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Good work, Arlene. You caught him just like I told you to. And with two witnesses. You, you bluebeard. 